today I thought I'd have a little fun with the lightest bullet in the 224 caliber. This is the 33 grain stone hammer that has a required 1 and 16 twist rate. I'm going to be running it out of my 22 250 that has a 4450 FPS velocity with a 1 and 12 twist rate. And then I'm going to shoot the 22 Creedmoor that has it running at 4660 with a 1 and 6.5 and twist rate. You could probably see, actually it's a 22 Creedmoor actually improved. You could probably see that 40 degree shoulder bullet on the right there. What I'm looking for today when I'm shooting the uh, molding clay is I'm really interested if the higher velocity and the faster twist rate is going to shed the pedals quicker. And I don't know if the setup I have is going to stand. I have to actually put my molding clay above on a chair and I have a feeling it might knock it over. But I do want to try to capture the bullet and then examine the molding clay when I get home. We'll start off with the 2250 and then switch off to the 22 Creedmoor Ackley Improved. I've gone ahead and cleaned out the initial cavitation here and a lot of the blowout as you've seen there and I did find some petals that were in the blowout material. It looks like there's a petal right there, if you can see that. And so that means that that bullet expanded in the first inch. Yeah, it looks to be the first inch of um, penetration. And the widest part or the deepest part of expansion measures right at four and three quarters to five inches, depending on what you want to see there. Now I'm expecting to find a lot more petals in the back because I've done this quite a few times. And I'll dig this area out more to see if I can recover any more back there. After extensive digging through here, I wasn't able to recover anything else. This is all I was recover from the 22. 250 that'll focus what I believe it happened and it's happened before is when the molding clay is hit and you see all that extraction coming back this way this typically flips over and I'm gonna bet the bullet got ejected so I'm gonna have to watch the video in slow motion I haven't watched it yet but I'm gonna bet that bullet got ejected out when it was spinning it through the air now to dig through the 22 Creedmoor I went ahead and dug out the molding clay from the container What's interesting is I measured both of these containers and this one stretched out to about five, five and a half inches in diameter wise. The original container was at four inches, but check this out. Look at that cavitation completely gutted out. Hopefully I get that light in there so you can see that. If you look real carefully, you could see a pedal right there, center screen. You can see where the bullet exited down there at the bottom and right next to there is another pedal. I think due to the high rotation of a six and a half inch twist with a 16 inch twist bullet, it caused the pedals to fragment more than pull apart the way a traditional HHT or Hammer Hunter bullet has its um, pedals. So let me dig out the base, hopefully I can find that and I will try to find all the pedals or the little pieces that I can find. This is all I was able to recover from the 22 Creedmoor. I was able to find the main shank here, and there's the back end of it. I'll go ahead and weigh this bad boy. And out of 32 grains, 18.44 was recovered. Let me put these little pieces in here now. Total recovery is 19.30 grains.